morning, a brisk, chilly winter morning. Okay, I finally want to address uh, to the main page here. Um, gentleman, I believe his name was Dave. Uh, when I said the post of staying injured because of your training isn't training. And there's this big uh, confusion, I guess, um, for the meme that I've made a while back, which was human move, older human move, more injured human move most. And the, the interpretation is, um, and I've seen it before, I just want to clear it up, um, where my message is if we injure something or we sense pain or we have damage in some area of the body, we just move it and fuck it. We just move it and move it and don't stop because normally we would be told to stop and rest. And then we would be told to do a treatment like ice or massage or a MAT, ART, acupuncture, chiropractic, uh, physical therapy to reduce symptoms and then slowly phase back into life symptom free with it only to come back. But my way is fuck all that. Just move. And that's the danger of getting advice in a meme. There is no meme, single fucking meme that we could put out other than just like Cassie's your life is your medicine or my you heal you that people are taking now. Um, that's a concept, right? But like <laughs> when you go a step further, it's like, oh, injured moot. Well, yeah, when I'm dealing with injuries with clients, believe it or not, Instagram isn't my job and making memes doesn't feed me. Um, stimulates thought, gets ideas going, um, and has people ask questions. But there is no meme that's going to solve a, a, any concern that you have, ever. Um, so we need to get away from this. Now, when I'm going into injuries, do I go at the concept of injured move most? Of course I do. But in a manner very particular to the person, and we're going into all other areas of life and peculiarities with them and history with them and what their life is like at the time and what their belief system was like and what they believe, how things occur and what the solution is. So if you, if you fucking pan out, human move, older human move, more injured human move most. Yeah, that's a, that's a basic. But it doesn't mean take an injured joint and just fucking move it at the expense of. And here's what will happen. It's actually kind of cool. It's not a bad alternative, actually, because you can you can <laughs> sort of satisfy some part of life because the body's that amazing. You will get so strong on top of damage and being strong strong and resilient i'm not talking tissue strong like weight strong and and athletic sports strong i'm talking about pure true strength which goes beyond um just the physical it's emotional intellectual mental spiritual and physical as well but it's some things like being able to sit across from cassie and take her advice and be an open vessel to go okay i'm going to change or uh change things in your life or stand for your purpose or your beliefs or shift your purpose or make changes in relationships or choose different nourishment sources or understand that nourishment comes from things other than food or fire all your practitioners like that takes an amount of strength especially in today's day and age to stand for what you believe in so there's something bigger than the strength i'm talking about but what will happen is there's no study or whatever for you research junkies and science junkies that can't fucking make a move without seeing science prove it first, which science will just be following us always. Um, bodies are always ahead of science and always will be that way. Um, but it's, there's no, you're too strong for life. There's just never going to be that study. There's never going to be that book. That's like, yeah, strengths you don't want it <laughs> and people are putting it into uh and perverting it in the fitness world in the rehab world in the training world for sure which is another thing i'm standing for but you can strengthen over the top of an injury and i've had clients come in who did it so well that they the body's still perfect that it years later would still express symptoms very faint and this person was tired of seeing the symptoms that they were just tired of experiencing. I'm like, okay. 
and you go in and there's just so much strength everywhere that the source is hidden because they did such a good job of piling up 50 mattresses on the pee that you kind of don't sense the pee anymore. But the body being just absolutely perfect, you can't trick it out. It'll always catch up. It just sometimes takes longer. But that's what people are doing. They're like, wait, TJ, you're not saying your message is just get strong as hell and stay injured, but you don't notice the injury or you're just more functional. Like you can do more stuff even with the injury. And that's what you're talking about. No, although that's a great concept, right? That's a that's a great thing to think about or to ponder. No, when I'm talking about injured move most or I'm talking about healing injuries or I'm talking about that meme is for one tiny essential. The second most important essential of all, but for things to change in your life, that's addressing one little thing. No, we got to go into everything. So when I'm talking about injuries, I don't care what level of the injury is. I don't care what it's called. I don't care what the imaging shows. It doesn't matter. If I work with somebody, go a route I'm going to go with, they're set up, they go and do the work. And then a month later, oh, I got an image and this is what it shows. Will you change your thing? No, because the image doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with what your care plan is going to be. Or which, that's why protocols are bullshit. There's no difference between an ACL and an MCL. I'm sorry. Or a sprain or a, a contu It doesn't matter. An injury is an injury. Bottom line. It's just showing that you're not prepared for your environment. Period. And you got to change a lot to a level of getting very, very uncomfortable. But when I'm talking about injuries, I'm talking about full freaking resolution. I'm talking about every injury being an opportunity. If you do it right... Your whole system rises to another level that you've never even experienced before. You don't even know how to feel it. That's why you have to equip yourself with all this stuff to get there to maintain the feelings that you're going to sense at that top. Because if you don't earn it and you get thrown up there with all these patches and bullshit, you have no fucking clue how to handle any of that. Can't sustain it. Fall apart even more. Body warns you and tells you it needs its its needs your help and loves you like no other with symptoms of healing and you just go to another practitioner go to another thing and what the what will they do oh that didn't work let's change it up oh that didn't work i got something new there's never anything new and nothing ever needs to be changed it comes back down to these basic concepts all the time but in the face of your life in the face of your individual and what's unique about you is you're changing every second of every day that's why science will never be able to precede human. It doesn't work that way. So when I am talking about human move, older human move, more injured human move most, that is a panned out generalization. Absolutely. That's a fucking basic law of life. Does it mean when you're injured, you just say screw it to symptoms and go screw rest, screw stopping your activity, screw stopping skiing or water skiing or snowboarding, stopping working, stop, screw all that TJ, right? We're going to move more because we're injured and you'll get a different sensation, a different path of life that you'll experience that's actually, <laughs> it'll feel better than the opposite of rest, ice, drugs, supplements, herbs, essential oils, treatments, physical therapy, occupational therapy, massage, acupuncture, like you'll see and be like, oh, it's working. Yeah, you're right. I've done that my whole life. Oh my God, this is working. You're a genius. And then you're just 80 with like 20 injuries that are just kind of lingering, <laughs> but you're strong as hell. Not what I'm talking about. Not even close. <laughs> and if you've worked with me, you understand exactly where I'm coming from. Um, or if you have, then these videos start to make more sense. And that's the thing <laughs> that is where, uh, I go into these concepts even further, but on Instagram, there's no way a post is going to save you because it just salvation won't come in a meme. I'm sorry. It's never going to be there. And we have this fucking world where it's bits and parcels of all these things and everyone will put it all together and make a life for them and it's it's incomplete because it's like a quote from a book but nobody read the book and applied the book it's a quote from a movie but nobody watched the movie and applied the movie it's a quote from jesus like no you can't what is it like a mosaic like where you take like colors and patches of tiles from all these different places and you create this work of art <laughs> it is <laughs> But these truths have to come from somewhere of a bigger 
uh, you know, the dandelion or whatever, where the rooted system is coming from. Like you have to understand where this is coming from. Um, so I just hope that that's clear because it was, I thought you were saying to maintain injury, but be stronger or be strong in the face of injury. So you can still live life, but you're injured. No fucking way. Am I talking about that? Is that a choice? Go ahead. That's fine. That's not what I'm talking about. Not what this page stands for. Or not what I do when I'm working with people. No, no, no way. There's better than that. Is that good? Ah, better than the alternative there. There's shit there, but there's a lot better than the alternative. Holistic, naturopathic alternative. I'm telling you now. Um, as you know, if you've been on my page. But that's not what I do. There's a deeper message there. I appreciate the concern and I love it when people call it out because um, it shows the confusion. But again, as I said, salvation is not going to come in a meme, right? There's deeper, there's there's uh, truth here that goes beyond a, a fucking two-dimensional <laughs> black square. <laughs> All right, have a good day, everybody.